So in this section of your textbook, you're probably studying the various techniques that you can use for integration. And one of the techniques is listed as number two here. It says to look for an obvious substitution. And sometimes an obvious substitution is not so obvious. But in this case, a simple U substitution is indeed going to work. And how do we know that? Well, notice that if we let U equal the sine of x, not the sine squared of x, but just the sine of x. What we notice is that the derivative of this expression here of sine of x appears elsewhere in our integral. So that is the best indication that a simple u substitution will be the best technique is when the expression that you let u equal has a derivative that appears elsewhere in the expression. So this is indeed going to work, and so we're going to proceed according to the rules of u substitution. Therefore, we will take the derivative of this little equation. So we would have du dx is equal to the cosine of x. And then what I like to do is solve for dx whenever I do these u substitutions. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by dx so that it cancels out on the left-hand side. And then in order to solve for dx, I will divide both sides of the equation by the cosine of x. And the cosine of x's will cancel out on the right-hand side. This leaves me with my expression for dx, which I'll just sort of shuffle around here. Okay, so after doing the derivative and then solving for dx, you can begin to make your substitutions. So we'll rewrite the integral. We have the integral of the cosine of x multiplied by 7 plus 8. Now, we are supposed to have the sine squared of x. Look back at your original substitution. And if you square both sides of that, then you will see that u squared is equal to the sine squared of x. And therefore, where we have this sine squared of x, we will substitute in u squared. And then at the end of our integral, we have the dx. Here is why we solved for dx. Recall that we said dx was equal to du over the cosine of x. And what's nice here is that the cosine of x in the numerator and this cos x in the denominator cancel each other out. So we are left with a relatively simple integral of just 7 plus 8u squared du. And at this point, it's just basic integration. So the integral of a constant with respect to the variable is just the constant multiplied by the variable. And then here for the 8u squared, we'll use a power rule. So we will add 1 to the power and then divide by that new power. Don't forget your constant of integration. And then the last thing we need to do is to go back and remind ourselves that u was equal to the sine of x. So we don't want to leave our answer in this form because it is now written in terms of u. We need it back in terms of x. So we'll just replace each of the u's with sine of x. Notice that the u cubed will be written as sine cubed of x. And this completes the answer to this integral.